Boom, bow. Hey. Oh, man. Let me make sure I got audio. Mm -hmm. All right, we got that. Come on, do it. <laughs> ah, so, guys, I had a phone call scheduled from between 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock today in the afternoon. And then I stupidly said I was going to stream at 2 o'clock or whatever. So then I rescheduled the stream to 3.30, and guess what? They still haven't called. So, uh, a warning to everyone, if my phone rings during this broadcast, I'm going to very rudely take that phone call. And I'm going to put the screen up that says Loki hates you's mailbox, and then I'm going to come back when the phone call is over. And it's probably going to happen in the next 10 minutes, and I hate this. I hate that people just don't seem to want to be on time lately and they don't want to commit to things lately and people are just like really just showing up and dropping out whenever they feel like it man it's great I got a couple people coming through lately not a lot of them moving on Hi, Ghost the Great. Hi, Brianna. Hi, I love Guns N' Roses. Hi, Jade. Hi, Hiddles XX. Hi, Chantal. Chantal or Chantal? Chantilly. All right. Hi, Cottonmouth. Uh, hi, Wolfger. Sizzlepod. Um, hi, Christina Philiboot. Hi, Joker's Girl. Hi, Hubble Bubble Pop. Hi, Layla. Hi, Carol. Um, hi, Natalie. Hi, my girlfriend, Amada. Um, hi, CJ. Uh, hi Marcy Hi Karen Hi Jaina Oh man you guys are all here Thank you so much for showing up Thanks for coming out You know what I mean Cause it's a nice day And like literally just as soon as I started doing this cast Man I tell you what I started getting some texts And that guy on a goddamn motorcycle Just really wanted to get on my street you can probably hear him. Fuck that guy. Whew. So, what's been going on? When I, I talked to you Monday, then what? Then there was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm going to tell you a little secret. Um, hey, Carol. Uh, hey, Ibito. The secret is that myself and I hate I hate motorcycles okay that's not a secret that's not a secret at all hey Chara hey Chris hey Ace so here's the secret Nerdbot and I are planning to start a live two hour D&D &D stream we're gonna test it out today on like an unspecified channel that we know that nobody's gonna look for uh, if I tweet out a link later tonight it will be to that thing so if you see me tweet out any weird links it's not because I got hacked sword it's because I'm trying to get a couple people to come in and weigh in on like hey check out all these technical difficulties we're having because it's our first time trying this and you know Shara don't worry about it it's just they're loud and unsafe and they create a kind of weird toxic masculinity culture but anyways moving on so if you see any weird postings for me tonight or if you see anyone posting um like kind of a weird looking stream of me uh then it's real it's a, it's a real thing what did they do to you what did they do to you well shara they they cut between lanes here in California, uh, and that means that I constantly have to be worried about changing lanes on the highway, because if some motorcyclist like completely rear-ends me and dies, then I get to think about that for the rest of my life, because they're like, well, we can't just travel in the regular lane, because then cars will hit us, and it's like, well, then maybe get a car. You know, if you're in the least safe thing on the entire highway, like, you know, it's time to start thinking about accountability. <sighs> yeah, that's not good. So, guys, 
I did get a package today, but it's from Izzy, and I don't see Izzy here, and I would hate to open up Izzy's package without Izzy actually being present. California traffic is the worst. I was in California for one and a half weeks. That's not a very long time, but it's definitely enough time to get a sampling of that terrible traffic. Um, but, yeah, like, that happened. Um, and what else? What else happened? Let me see if I can thin this down a little bit. There you go. That's better. Um, oh, yeah. Amada's apartment got completely flooded. Like, we were hanging out on a Friday night. And, uh, it, you know, we were just having a good time doing our thing. And all of a sudden, we noticed, oh, there's a little drippy, little drippy ceiling action happening in Mata's kitchen in one of the cabinets. And, uh, we're like, ah, oh, man, we're gonna have to put a pot underneath it, call maintenance. So we call maintenance, start clearing out that cabinet so nothing gets all gross. Within five minutes... The goddamn thing was like a, it was like a torrential, it was like someone had like a hose that they had put their thumb over, and they were just spraying water out of the ceiling into the kitchen from one of the cabinets, and we were like bailing this water out in pots and containers, and then it took maintenance three hours to get there and turn the water off and fix it so we were just like in a sinking ship and it got in the walls between the kitchen and the bathroom and like all it was like an inch or two it was like two inches of water like i don't know it was all it was it's so much water and we were not in the mood for it and um as soon as the maintenance guy got here he's like oh next time here's how to shut off the water for the entire building just do that and we're like oh good so it was available to turn off the water. You just didn't explain that to us over the phone. Moreover, even if we had done that, we would have had a hundred other residents of that apartment complex pissed at us for shutting off all the water to all the people in all the apartments. Man, it was not fun. So, yeah. Um, uh, I don't know if I'll be up by the time you do that stream. Glad to make it to this one. Well, I'm glad you're here, Chris. Uh, 30 minutes till my next class. Glad you can make it, Wolfer. Wolfger. Um, goodbye, look, Guns N' Roses. Uh, how's it going? Are you going to any, anything fun for Halloween? Uh, Crystal, I will be. Crystal, uh, Crystal Spin Marvel, Spin Marvel Angel? Ooh, that's a crazy last name. Uh, oh, I'll be hosting... Nerd Nights by Nerdbot on Wednesday night on Halloween. Hosting karaoke at the Arcadia Westfield Mall at Dave & Buster's. So come on, stop by if you're in Southern California. Don't worry about it if you're in another state or either, even far away in California. Um, what do you call social security guards? Oh, working outside of Samsung shops. Uh, Brianna, that's Guardians of the Galaxies. Uh, A.U. Shar, what? Uh... T to J, Kajippers, hi. T to J, Kujippers, hell of a name. Uh, you're allowed to just turn off the water. You know, Hubba Bubble Pop, the funny thing is, everything in the world is made to be turned off, whether by being unplugged or what have you, and there is usually a shut-off valve for any given water source. So... Yes, you can turn off the water to your ent entire house, probably by being on the outside of your house. Um, let's see, what else we got? Uh, uh, it was an experience, that was for sure. We love unclear advice for maintenance. Uh, I was going to say that. Crystal Spurnbuckerberg from Facebook, uh-huh. You killed me, Brianna. Uh, Mina, hi, Mina. Hey, Jacqueline, Jack, Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jack-o-lantern, my username is different, sorry. Um, Soulless Hufflepuff, I'm doing well, I hope you're doing well as well. Everyone should be doing well. I did not go to LA Comic Con this weekend, and I'll tell you why, because I didn't feel like it. And that's the end of the story. Uh, I could have gone, it was right there, 
Instead, uh, Amada and I, after bailing out an entire apartment, uh, we went to Corgi Beach Day at Huntington Beach Dog Park. And we saw a lot of cute little corgs. We saw a couple big dogs, too. I liked all those guys. Touched a couple, but mostly we just looked at them. And there's nothing better in the world than getting to pet some dogs. Boy, howdy. But then I spent the rest of the weekend designing D&D maps. So it's, it's a little out of hand. What are you going to do? Um, I definitely know how that feels when it comes to dealing with water damage. Uh, Flood had to deal with mold. Ooh, yeah, mold is the big fear right now for us. The apartment does not smell bad yet, but, you know, there's always time. Uh, Jada, do you agree that a bucket with a lid is still a bucket? My friend disagrees. Well, I mean, the lid doesn't... Like, if you were to take a bucket and fill it with cement and then put a lid on it and glue the lid on it, then I would say, no, it's not a bucket anymore. Then it's a weight, like some sort of ballast or something like that. But putting a lid onto a bucket just means it's a bucket with a removable lid that can be taken off and still used as a bucket. So, yeah, I think your friend is just looking for a reason to argue with you, Wolfger. Uh, I just got back from yelling at people. Got a last-minute phone call to be Loki. Oh, I saw that, Izzy. Congratulations. You're going to be Loki again. Uh, when is Thor's Day going to return? Shara, I don't know. The truth is that uh, Stephen and I don't have uh, schedules that line up very well. So a lot of times we don't get to do streams that work for both of us time-wise. So, you know, if we can, we will do Thor's Day. Bug him about it. I'm down. I can probably manage it on Thursday again, so I'm fine with it. We just gotta just gotta get it scheduled and have to be late in the day. Uh, I know a lot of you guys; it's already like midnight or beyond because you're way far away on the globe or whatever flat Earth or whatever you believe in. But like, you know, get get talking to Stephen; he'd love to hear from you. What does the rubber band factory worker say when he was fired? Uh, he said, he said, um, ah, uh, he, that's what he said. Uh, hubble bubble pop, no. Um, last two times I fell asleep before the live stream starting. Right, Jaina, that's what I'm saying is like, you're falling asleep before this one starts. If we tried to do one with Thor TV, it wouldn't start for another, maybe four hours. So think about that. Um, it's cute. I'm glad you are okay. Was your Loki cosplay damaged during the water leakage? No, that was in Amada's apartment. Not we have two separate apartments, uh, so the costumes are fine. Don't worry about the costumes. Uh, nor were any of her costumes damaged. So, don't. It was just all stuff on the floor. Uh, the kitty, she's over there. You can't really see her. Like she's, she's this thing. That's a cat, right there. That's a small cat that's just laying on the bed. So that's where the cat is. If she gets up... Hold on. What's this? <laughs> Hello, baby. Uh-oh. She's going to come over and get some pets now. There she is. Hello, baby. I just got her to crawl up on my lap today for the first time ever on my computer chair because I went and put my legs up on the bed she was like oh I'll sit on this uh costumes okay agreed Crystal said what do you and Thor do for your work Thor is is a maintenance person he fixes machinery uh right now I'm looking for work so that's what I'm doing usually I, I like to work in the art field but you know I take what I can get I'm eating Reese's, okay, kitty, thanks, kitty, you want chocolate, okay, oh man, kitty, 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 okay, there's the kitty. So, with that said, let's open up a package that Izzy sent. Come here, little baby. Little baby, she's over here. Let's see if I can get her on the camera. Where is she? Come over here. Can I get her? There she is. Hey, little bear. Yeah. So you can see how high res this camera is. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Uh, have you 
we've seen the video of the cat discovering its ears for the first time. I don't know. I doubt it. I've seen a lot of cat videos, but that doesn't sound like one that's ringing a bell right now. <sighs> okay. We got plenty of cat time in today, which, you know, I, I, I personally am a fan of. Okay, let's open this package. It's right here. This is a package from Izzy. Yeah, it is. Okay, ready? If I open it up like this... Eh. Have you heard of Sabrina the Teenage Witch reboot? And if you've watched it, what are your thoughts? I've heard about it, and I did not watch it, but I don't think I'm gonna watch it. I've been too busy watching... Um, I watched the third season of Daredevil, and it was real good. I've been watching the new season of Castlevania. It's also pretty good. I've been watching... Big Mouth. Again, very good. Uh, man, there's been a bunch of good stuff coming out, so... You know, Netflix is really knocking them out of the park. Uh, Tale of the Kitty looks like a little snake. True words, never spoken. So Izzy looks like she sent me a, a, um, a Halloween package. So let's go through it piece by piece. Looks like the first thing on the list. Sour Patch, Woodermelon in the uh, movie theater uh, packaging. It's kind of in a box, in a bag in a box. So I'll dig into those at some point. I don't want to open them all up because then I'm going to have like... I'll eat like one pe- ooh, hold on, there's a card. With a seal. With an eye. For Izzy. Look at that. If you ever wonder who committed the, this crime, it's the person who has the eye seal of approval. Um, it's in a package. It's okay, Jacqueline. Is the, the P.O. box is still there. I actually just renewed it today. So the P.O. box is open for another year for recipients. Or I guess I'm the recipient for... Oh, good. Izzy, it's a sparkly card. It's all just... Hey, boy. Ah, uh, man. Oh, good. There's sparkles falling off of it. Thanks, Izzy. How many... Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to throw the sparkles on. Oh, good. See this? See the sparkles? They're already getting in places. It's Halloween, and you know what that means. A nap. Why should today be any different? Says the kitty cat. Oh, let me kind of block that out. And then Izzy writes, Happy Halloween, Bill. I'll be mischievous and enjoy your treats. I will. Thank you, Izzy. And you, thanks for the mischief that is you covering everything in goddamn, goddamn glitter. God damn it. The new rule might be no bees, no sparkles, or glitter. God, I'm going to have glitter on my freaking face all night. Jesus Christ. Do you like horror stuff? I don't love horror stuff. I don't love being scared. Yeah, yeah Shara, there's a brand new season of Daredevil. Come on, get on it. Um, it's good. Uh, let's see, what else? My, fir oh, my first cat was a calico. Her name was Sparkles. That's nice. Any thoughts about Marvel TV series? Well, I hated Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I hated it. Um... I refuse to watch Inhumans or Legion or any of the other, or I don't have the service that has Cloak and Dagger. So yeah, the Marvel stuff, not not ringing my bell right now, if you know what I mean. Um, and uh, while well, I have a career, my mom is very hard and stressful. Uh, since you're looking for work, have you thought about giving Aaron from Bat in the Sun See if he has any projects. Yeah, I don't know. Like they have, they run a pretty small production over there. Like they're they're pretty low, low maintenance. I'm not gonna say low budget because obviously they make good quality stuff. But like, 
Uh, Bat in the Sun, they really keep their costs down by not having any employees at all, aside from the two guys who run it. So, if, you know, if Bat in the Sun needs more help, they know where to find me, but I, I, I gotta find, like, a larger, like, health and benefits sort of corporation to work for. Um, Shara's getting real sassy. Uh, yikes, Sparkles much brighter it's not wrong to be honest what about the Loki series it's going to be made I don't know anything about the Loki series honestly the language that was used to describe that Loki series is so like uncertain that it's like oh yeah there's gonna be maybe a series but like um, one of these actors might be signed on in talks to sign on to maybe talk about playing it I I don't honestly believe that there will ever be a Loki series that has Tom Hiddleston in it for more than a few seconds. Uh, if they make a, a, an Agent of Asgard series, it will have like a television actor, not not a movie actor. Moving on, so we got these beautiful apple crisps from Izzy that I will enjoy eating. They are very nice. And what is in this? Oh my God! There's something else in here too. With just in the corner of this package was two apple crisps and a single Kit Kat bar. A, a dark Kit Kat bar. Why not? Why not, throw, why not break me off a piece of that? You know what I mean? Like, you got you got a couple apple crisps. There's some Kit Kats in there. And there's one more one more cluster bomb package. And so, I shouldn't say cluster bomb after the events of the past. Oh, I got glitter all over my lap. Thanks, Izzy. Okay, so then there's this package that, when it's broken open, has just billions of Kit Kat, tiny Kit Kat bars in it. Look at these guys. Look at them. Look at all these Kit Kats that I got. I'm, I'm unpacking them slowly because I know there's more glitter in here somewhere. God. Oh. Just Kit Kats all over the joint. Dark ones, regular ones. So glad you sent me all this glitter, Izzy. More dark ones and a light one as well. Oh man, so I got a, a million Kit Kats. I got some Sour Patch Woodrow Melons. And I got some Apple Crisps to eat. And then I'm gonna eat them. I'm gonna do it. I probably won't eat every one of these Kit Kats. I'm gonna be totally honest with you because I enjoy perhaps one Kit Kat per year, if that. Oh, the glitter. And, oh, I think I just breathed a piece of glitter in. <clears throat> it's fine. I'm fine. Uh, what about Loki's uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? MCU in the halls. Yeah, I'm not h hating uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Shara. It, it's the Marvel Television Universe that I'm criticizing they're not good so since they're not really aside from agents of shield kind of making some weird tangential like yeah we acknowledge that agent colson's a character like it's not it doesn't matter um that's a lot of maybes kit kat bars i would love some strawberry kit kats right now i don't remember any of those Baldi's basic brainwashed me. I don't know what that means. Um, barely watch anything, so... Loki series, but I'm getting streaming things. So the, my husband, Don, watched... Wanted me to tell you. He's sorry he missed the stream. Oh, well, thanks, Natalie. Tell him I said hi. Uh, so much candy, so much chocolate candy. That's a lot of Kit Kats. Um, are the Kit Kats covered in sparkles? There's a, definitely a couple sparkles. They're not covered in them, but there, there's, there's a couple around. Um, you have glitter on your nose, do I? Where is it? Oh, I think I saw it. Is it here? Oh. I'm just getting more on me. Like, oh boy. Glitter is evil. Do you have a preference on sweets and snacks? Uh, I like gummy stuff. Um funny because Izzy was very considerate and sent me an email early in the week and was like hey what kind of candy do you like and I sent her my two favorite types of, of candies in picture format I think I sent her a picture of Daryl Lee Australian licorice and 
Haribo twin cherry snare snap piece of glitter. Um, but by the time I responded to the email, which was like days later, uh, she had already sent this package. So, so that's what I get for being a late Johnny come lately. Um, la la la. You, okay, TV sh including the TV shows. Shara, I will not include the TV shows in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The TV shows are not of the same quality. Uh, yes, they, why don't you apply for a job at a theme park? I would never want to work. In, I, I know people who work at theme parks, and they have plenty of complaints. And unless I could be something, unless I could be doing something that has nothing to do with the, like, boots on the ground operation of the theme park I, I can't imagine me working for a theme park um septic compilations you didn't miss much I opened up a package that had some candy in it some of this stuff apple crisp some sour patch and watermelons and a whole bunch of Kit Kats all those Kit Kats um it's raining Kit Kats oh and I also have revealed that I don't like motorcycles and Marvel television shows um uh, Bat in the Sun has a new video with Michael Myers and the Joker. It looks see and awesome. Okay, well, I'll keep an eye on that. Gummy bears, glitter tricks. I saw one on his forehead. Is there one on my forehead? My skin's not that great right now, so I'm not trying to highlight everything, but also my lighting's not that great. Um, evil glitter. Uh, that's fine, whatever. Shara. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Um... TV series is awesome. Incorrect. Uh, glitter. I saw one on his forehead. Evil glitter. Oh, that's the that's your glitter emojis. Um, bring out my sassy side, and you won't like after. Shara, you seem to you seem to take this as a challenge and not a warning, but that's fine. Keep going. Do what you got to do, and we'll we'll adjust accordingly. Uh, would you like to try some sweets from France? Cowbios, um, let me put it this way. If you send me sweets from France, there's a good chance that I will try them, and there's a good chance that my friends will end up also trying them because I am so afraid to eat things that I've never eaten before. So the answer is yes. Moving on. Um... Even though it is indeed a plan to deal with it, it could always be a lot worse. Oh, it's a bee joke. I get it. Uh, so I better get to bed. Good night, Carol. What about at, like, Staples Center, the Coliseum, or the New Bank of California Stadium as job options? Yeah, I'll blah, 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 blah. Don't worry about it. I'll get the job thing figured out. Do you dance? I do not dance, Hiddles. I move various parts of my body, um, but... Uh, not all at the same time. So, I can kind of sway back and forth, but I can't, like, combine this with, like, some sort of hand or foot motion -ing. So, no. Uh, Izzy, you got me. You got me. <sighs> Except the Kit Kats. I don't know the other stuff, but sounds delicious. It's going to be good. I'm going to eat it a lot. TV series aren't good. Movies are better. This is Disney. Um, I hope I didn't miss much. Uh, Wolfger, I don't know. You, you, you did all right. Movies and TV series. I promise to not put glitter in the box. Yeah, cow, cowbios. That's cool. Like, I, I hope no one ever puts glitter in the box again. <sighs> so, what else happened this week? There's been a lot of stuff in the news, but we're not going to talk about that, because we never do, and this isn't the place for it. So, you know, that sort of stuff is happening. Um, but man, Halloween, let's talk, everyone wants to talk about Halloween candy, so let's talk about the best Halloween candy. Um, I personally, like I said, I like gummies, but there's just some specific, like, Let's talk about bad Halloween candies. And there's a lot of them, too. Like, like sugar daddies? Who cares? Sugar daddies and sugar babies? Who, my, my, I think my mom liked those. God, gross. And those little, like, 
cellophane strawberry things. Like, those weren't actually that bad until you get to the center of them. Why do candies keep filling the center of things with other things? Why does the blow pop exist? Does anyone want a piece of gum in the middle of a lollipop? I mean, the, the, the Tootsie Roll pop is better than the blow pop, and it's still not that good. Because it's like, a hard candy is fine. It's just a hard candy on a stick. That's the only thing you can put inside of another. Like, if you put a stick inside of a hard candy, it makes it into a lollipop. And that's fine, because it makes it easier to, like, eject from your throat when you're choking. Is you can just grab it, pull it. But then they were like, oh, we put a thing in a thing. People liked it. Let's put another thing in that thing. And then they started making these weird fucking combo candies. And those little cellophane-wrapped strawberries are the same deal where it's like, oh, yeah, good. I'm eating a hard candy that tastes like a strawberry. The system works. And then you get to the center, and it's like, oh, wait, it's some, like, other lighter-flavored, like, sandy substance that turns into sludge in my mouth. Gross. Um, hospital over Halloween and aren't allowed to walk because I'm bored out of my mind. Septic compilations? Pick up a hobby. Learn how to draw. Get a pen and a paper and do some gesture drawings. Almond Joys, I also hate those. Twix, I'm not a big fan of either. Yeah, there's a lot of crappy candy bars. Mr. See the Good Side, you can dress up as glitter on Halloween. Dress up as your ass. Um, just Landon is still sitting on the plane. Uh, well, hey, uh, uh, Candace, I'm glad you're on the ground safe. Um, what did that say? Sugar Daddies, Chantal, I'm sorry, not that good. They're not. Uh, the Kit Kat glows in the dark. I will keep that in mind um, as I look at it in the dark. Perhaps not as I eat it, because I don't know if I want to eat something that glows in the dark. Uh, Sugar Daddy is a large piece of hardened caramel. Um, that's what a Sugar Daddy is. Uh, I don't care for motorcycles because they're dangerous, but I don't care about the noise because where I live, we hear trains and sirens all the time. Ghosts that feel like you're on a delay. Uh, hard candy, it's okay, I agree. Sugar daddies, pop rocks. Ooh, pop rocks are a welcome treat. That's not one you would see on Halloween much, though. Um, let's see. Hard candy, it's okay. Sugar daddy, pop rock. Gum and lollipops. Why? Just eat a lollipop, but then eat some gum. You can get them separately. Candy corn is gross. I don't know what flavor it's supposed to be, but it's not a good one. Uh, blow pop, sugar daddies, America explained. Chantal, uh, blow pop is a lollipop whose center is bubble gum. Sugar daddy, like I said before, is like a hardened piece of chewy taffy. Not taffy, uh, like caramel, like real dense caramel. Candy that I've always hated where people uh, shit flavorless lollipops on super long plastic sticks. i uh, tell you what lollipops I hate are the ones that have like a ring sh instead of a stick. It's like a paper stick that's wrapped and inserted twice into the lollipop. And then the lollipop itself is half like that hard candy, but then half like a, like a milky colored substance. So it's like a swirled white and red or green thing and those are just awful those are always terrible anything grape i actually love grape uh give out whole hershey's bars neighborhood <laughs> except this year's going to be 100 percent raining that night i might be stuck with a bunch of chocolate oh they'll come around marcy they know that you got the good candy bars you'll just get doubles give those kids their candy find glitter in my hair for several weeks uh Hubble language. Don't worry about language, Shara. It's fine. What's your favorite Loki line in any of the films? Um, uh, hmm. I didn't say it's a line, but I like when he kind of walks in and explains the whole Grandmaster thing to Thor, and then he goes like, that is one of my favorite lines out of him. Uh, Kit Kat. Oh, the Kit Kat of the wrapper glows in the dark. Got it. Uh, grape flavored lollipops. I love Reese's peanut butter cups. I'll eat a Reese's peanut butter cup from time to time. I like to put them in the freezer. Uh, it was foggy today. I love Almond Joy dark chocolate. 
I'll have to try one of those. Not a huge fan of Twix. Yeah. I guess it's easy not to be a fan of something that you can't eat. Well, welcome back, Wolfger. Fun dip? Oh, man. Oh, I don't think I could handle I would, like, instantly get a canker sore from fun dip if I ever tried it again. Oh, no, Jacqueline. I'm sorry. Braces are tough. Uh... Sugar daddies and sugar babies, what are we talking about a dating site? <laughs> candy. Why does everyone hate candy corn? It's so good. Oh, girls, no! Uh, kinder eggs are the best, hands down. I don't think I've ever had a kinder egg. I've heard a lot about them. People go crazy over them, but I've never had one. I, I actually don't think I've ever eaten an entire Cadbury cream egg either. So, just jam, down, jam that down your maw. Um, candy corn is good. Oh, these sticks are the worst. I hardly ever see Pop Rocks anymore. I think I know which lollipop you're talking about. Yeah, you got it. Have to go. Bye, Calbios. Speaking about Halloween, uh, Florida went to move holiday to be held on the last Saturday of every October because they don't want to deal with party goers when it's a school night. That's fair. Shara says all Loki lines are her favorite. Um, totally agree. I'm hiding the rest of my Kit Kats. Uh, I think the, power, the powder candy with white chalk candy type stick are all right not great those are fun dips someone brought that up earlier hubble, hubble bubble pop uh and those were fun they were fun to dip they lived up to their name it's just man it's just sugar just sugar maybe like some talcum powder um it, like but didn't stop me from buying them i love those and i like big league chew because it came in like a big package um fun dip Reese's they have them here they're not like the ones that are banned though oh they are banned kinder eggs love or hate cinnamon candy I used to really like um I liked big red I liked uh hot tamales so yeah I, I liked I used to like cinnamon I probably eat one or two of them now but not you know you know I don't, I don't crave it or anything Ah, uh, man. Okay. Not like uh, cinnamon candy themed alcohol flavored like pumpkin spice. Gross. No, I don't drink anyway, so it doesn't. I don't have any preference. Survive worst, so braces are nothing. Hide your Halloween. Every time I get fun dips, I just eat the powder. Well, right. Yeah. No one eats the stick. That's It's disgusting. It tastes like powdered... I don't know. It just tastes like laundry detergent or something. White chocolate, dark chocolate, or regular chocolate, which do you prefer? Definitely dark chocolate. Uh, I was never a dark chocolate guy until a couple of years ago, and now I've started to appreciate it. Milk chocolate just doesn't hit me the same way as it used to. White chocolate is just way too, like, rich and vanilla-y. Um, every time I uh, white chocolate, uh, I also love peanut butter M&Ms, chocolate. I can't have cinnamon candy because I'm allergic to red cinnamon. Oh, no. Uh, I wonder how hard that is to avoid. Which is your favorite movie with Loki? The Avengers. Mm. I think The Avengers. I, 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 Avengers is my favorite Marvel movie all around. Just because it's so groundbreaking, I think. Did you like your surprise? Yeah, Izzy. Yes, I loved it. Thank you for sending a package. Like, um, you're, you've been kind of the, our bat in a thousand guy the last few months. You've been uh, the, the, the person we can depend on to send some packages and get the mailbox streams going. I appreciate that. Um, not very hard to avoid, actually. Yeah, I mean, who puts red cinnamon on, on everything? Not a lot of people. Um, I did warn you about the trick. Yeah, you did. It was funny. Super funny. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, have you seen Infinity War? I did. Shaw, we're not going to talk about Infinity War. We never have and we never will. We're not going to talk about Infinity War until several months after the next Avengers movie comes out. So, like, probably this time next year is when we can start talking about Infinity War. Okay? Deal? Great. Got it. Perfect. Um, and I prefer something more salty, but apples with caramel are delicious. Do you like Skittles? I'll eat a Skittle or two every once in a while, but definitely not a lot of them. Uh, you know... If I apples with dark chocolate sounds really good to me. I'm not a big caramel guy. Caramel, caramel. Who I don't know how you guys say that. Um, 
Even if I ever get diabetes, eating Reese's peanut butter cups are worth losing a foot and a leg over, literally. Jeez, Chris. I hope you're not actually that married to that idea. Um, I give my phone 20 more minutes till it dies. Wolfgang, no! I have a friend who's straight up allergic to one of the major red dyes. It was funny because when they told me about it, they just said, yeah, I can't drink that. I'm allergic to red. Yeah, that's got to be a terrible, like, sort of way to have to test your food out read the labels and be like oh there it is red 40 can't do it have you seen the captain marvel trailer i have new avengers may 3rd 2019 sour skittles next year infinity war 2 is coming out correct i don't think it'll be infinity war 2 though uh it'll be avengers 4 it was just my parents told me i guess the red hot things not sure what they're called have red cinnamon because that's what i was allergic to yep i get it Jada, I love sour candy, too. I just can't eat as much of it as I used to because it cuts up my mouth now. Original Skittles or other flavor packs? I know they came out with hot Skittles. No, original Skittles. I don't want tropical Skittles or, like, Skittles and cream or whatever. Regular Skittles were made by God for a reason for us to enjoy. Um, it's cold outside. Did you hear about Tom Hiddleston talking about Loki's sexuality, and etc.? I'm sure he did. I see a lot of Tom Hiddleston stuff come across my various feeds, and I don't give any of them much attention because I'm not super invested in Tom Hiddleston. Like, I get it. I get people are into him, and that's great, but I'm just not, you know, he's not my favorite guy in the world. That's not to say I don't like him or that there's anything bad about him. It's just like people love Tom Hiddleston, and I don't, I don't, I don't need to do anything other than watch the movie he's in. I'm not particularly in, interested in his interviews or his, you know, pictures of him walking his dog, or you know, what what a movie he's gonna be in in another two years once it's finished filming, or what book he's reading, like all that stuff. I'm fine. I don't need it. However, I have heard that he's coming to Arizona at some point to one of the ACE conventions, and I think I know somebody who's planning to get a ticket. I'm not even talking about me. I'm talking about my girlfriend. And you know what I'm talking about. Um, mm, 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 mm. Satisfaction is not in my nature. That is a good one, Heidi. I also like that line. It's cold outside. I'm sorry. Did you hear about Tom Hiddleston? Okay. What was your favorite Halloween memory ever? Favorite Halloween memory ever? We used to have Halloween parties at my parents' house when I was a kid. I just remember, like, coming back. Like, we'd have this party, and then we would go trick-or-treating, and then we'd all come back and dump our candy out on the ground. And I just remember really liking that, like, kind of like, oh, yeah, check out what I brought home kind of feeling. That was, was kind of nice. Hot candy, they came out with hot flavored Jolly Ranchers and hot Sour Patch. I could see hot Jolly Ranchers more than hot Skittles. Uh, what about Starbursts? I do like one Starburst a week, maybe, if, if that. It feels like I'm swallowing something that's never come, gonna come out of me. Um, I like Oreos, why are you hating on Tom Hiddleston? Again, Shara, absolutely not hating on anybody. I just don't follow everything he does i have a weird and i guess bad young halloween memory an old lady took half my candy out of my bag hubble bubble pop that old lady needs to needs to go to jail he plays amazing on the loki character uh-huh swedish berries like swedish fish sweetish is what you're saying I'm thinking Swedish fish. He's not hating, he's just not a fanboy. I used to be stereotypical, okay? Uh, I love him to death. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Like, guys, you should be excited about something. You gotta have a hobby. When I was a kid, I know there were certain celebrities that I really liked. They were, you know, nobody that was a real celebrity. But, like, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't, you know, judge anybody for it. It's just, like... I can't. I also can't be held accountable for every every interview he's in. And like, oh yeah, I heard what the wording he used on this interview. And it's like, oh, I don't give a shit. 
Um, purple scales, I do like the purple ones. Maybe true. Um, the Jancon. Uh, the it's the uh, yeah. Is it in January? I don't know. Joker's girl. Bye. Who remembers almond joys? I think a lot of people do. A lot of people mention that they actually don't like almond joys. My hobby is fangirling, and that's cool. Like, fine, good, great. I would definitely say though, if you're gonna say like fangirling is my hobby and stuff like that, just take a look at the stuff that you're seeing every day and think about like is this really supportive of the person that i'm a fan of like the fact that there's pictures of him just like walking down the street with his dog like it's like a surveillance thing more than it is a fan thing like that's not a good feeling to know that like if you go outside and you trip or you got some mustard on your shirt that some asshole is going to sell that photo and then it's going to be like a thing that people talk about like oh i'm going to make a little cartoon now that like tom's got mustard on his shirt all day like loki's now a character that's known for having mustard on his shirt because he had mustard on his shirt don't you understand it's cute because i remembered the mustard on his shirt Tom Hiddleston constantly has mustard on his shirt. He's a mustard man. I call him Tom Mustard Littleston. I have a ship where, like, Tom is, like, in love with a bottle of mustard. And they, like, you know, they have a lot of, like, real, like, hard triple penetration sex. But, you know, for the most part, I think it's kind of more of a romantic ship for me. And, you know, the mustard injections, a lot of people, you know... They don't like that. They don't like that I do drawings of that. But really, like, I think it's all just, like, in good fun. And it's in the best thing of, of the fandom. <clears throat> oh, man. I don't know what we're going to do. Um, do you remember that time when you stressed over exams? I do. I do remember stressing over exams. Only I didn't stress out over exams much. You just did them. Hey, Eris. Uh, do you like Harry Potter? If yes, then who is your favorite character? Who did I like from Harry Potter? I like... Uh, I liked Hermione a lot. I liked Ron. I like Ron a lot, because you know what? There was a... Oh, no. There was a lot of times, there were a lot of parts, where Harry was a total dick to his good friend, and Ron was like, but I don't want to fight. And then Harry was like, why well, I do? So I'm going to be a real dickhead still. And then Ron was like, okay, well, I guess I'll go over here and be mad at you. But then I'm going to be the one who has to apologize. And Harry's like, yeah, you should, you prick. And then, like, I don't know. Like, Harry was just a dick to his best friend a lot. And he should have been a lot nicer. And he also should have given Ron some money. Because he had plenty of money. Um, what, what, what do we got here? Um... Do you like Harry? I'm looking for a darn book with the word college. There are millions of books. Okay. Drama Queen. Uh, so how am how I that's how I am with a band I used to be obsessed with. They went on hiatus and they came back recently. Some interviews. Yeah, I mean, cool. Like it's it's fine. Just you know cool out a little bit don't support the the weird shit don't support the surveillance stuff hey don uh i don't stress over exams stay away from my mustard it's mine well great Harris. <laughs> um that's fine um let's see dude please get some help what were your favorite halloween specials to watch as a kid. I remember Mr. Boogity was something I used to watch. Um, what used to play around Halloween? Ernest, Scared Stupid. I used to watch that. Halloween stuff. E.T. was based in Halloween time. I like that. Never watched much Charlie Brown. I always thought it was very quiet. I needed a little more action in it. Um... Charlie Brown, what Hogwarts house would you be in? I have done the sorting hat a couple of times. It always sorts me in the Slytherin, but I don't want it to be anything but a Hufflepuff. I just want to be a Hufflepuff, so leave me alone. Did you say Tom Hiddleston? I feel like Internet Explorer because I'm sure the message will come much later. 
Yes, Cottonmouth, I did say that. There you go. Uh, love Snoopy and Charlie Brown, Paranormal Activity. Um, what is Aerith saying? Shara, don't worry about it. If somebody's being out of line, I'll call them out on it. You just, oof, boy. So, boy, you're pushy every time you come in here. Hey, Nelia. Uh, what kind of music are you into? Um, right now, I've just been listening to a lot of, like, 90s alternative, even into, like, uh, you know, late 2000s, uh, late 2000 and aughts. Soundgarden, um... Oh, not Soundgarden, I'm sorry, Audio Slave stuff. Uh, I don't know, like hard rock. I hate saying that I'm into metal anymore because then people get all like, oh, you listen to fucking Gumjar the Demon Lord? It's like out of Sweden. And it's like, no, I don't listen to that kind of metal. I want to hear different things happening and not just like one noise for three and a half minutes that then turns into like a slightly different noise for another three and a half minutes. Oh man. Um uh what but, but, but I also like I like um dubstep electronica lately. I'll listen to that while I'm working. Helps me get through kind of blockages in my working patterns. Real fear great way to get over real fear of horror movies is don't watch them. Not even when someone challenges you to. Just watch something happy. Be around happy things. Be inspired by your friends. Don't worry about someone chasing you with a knife or, like, a spear or something. I'm the language police. You are definitely not. Uh, do you like Avril Lavigne? Not really. I don't know. Probably only heard two or three of her songs ever, and probably less than a dozen times a piece. Hey, Hope. Uh, Slytherin House welcomes you. Uh, did our house is dirty. Yeah, I mean, I'm not against Slytherin. I'm just not that ambitious of a person. So I don't think it's appropriate for me to be in Slytherin House. I'd be like the worst Slytherin ever because I'd be like, oh yeah, I have to do my bet. Oh wait, something else is going on. I'll do that instead. Um, horrified, saw pictures of my mom's arm after her casket removed. I nearly passed out. Weird. Uh, Hufflepuff, Slytherin siblings talk so much about the house. So happy someone actually wants to be a Hufflepuff. I like Hufflepuffs. They're about friendship. And I like that kind of thing. Um... A-H-S. Oh, American Horror Story. I see. What British music do you know about or like? Uh, the Beatles. You know, The Who. Like, nothing new. Maybe, I mean, I know of the Arctic Monkeys. Is Coldplay British? Who knows? I don't know. I'm not a music guy. I just don't know much about music and I don't pay much attention to it. Um... Does the Monster Mash song make anyone giggle? Made me It's funny. Someone was just... I have a friend who's dating a woman who has a young daughter. And the, his girlfriend was like, Yeah, I need more Halloween music to, for my daughter to listen to. And he was like, Well, how about the Monster Mash? And she was like, What's that? And he was like, You've never heard of the Monster Mash? And I thought that was funny because everyone knows the Monster Mash. Huh. <sighs> Doesn't make me giggle. Monster Mash is a pretty hokey song. Have you seen The Grudge? The Grudge is my least... Uh, is the horror movie that ha affected me the most. The Grudge really, really screwed with me when I, when I saw it. Because the ghosts never had any rules. Just appear anywhere at any time, even during the day. And that messed with me. Uh... It was great. Oh, well, I'm glad you liked it, Wolfker. I don't even remember what playlist that was. Millions of books. I like classic horror. Anything new going your way? Eris, uh, the newest thing that I will be doing is uh, Memphis Comic and Fantasy Con. I will be there in late November. Right before Thanksgiving weekend, I will be in Memphis. So follow Memphis Comic and Fantasy Con to see new developments regarding their costume showcase and who's hosting it that's me um what song do you feel that makes you happy ooh song that makes me happy ooh what song that makes me happy um I would say high voltage 
by Electric Six. There was somebody who used to do that at karaoke in Savannah. And man, they always did such a great job. And that makes me happy when I hear it. Uh, what's your favorite horror movie? I would say Cabin in the Woods just because it's less of a horror movie and almost as much a comedy. I don't like Cabin in the Woods. Uh, my favorites was, <laughs> it's funny, I said it and you said it. You said I said I liked it, you said you didn't like it, Karen. Uh, Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, Garfield, one episode from the real Ghostbusters where they first fought Sam Hain. Oh, that's like a pumpkin-headed guy, right? Loki edition. Uh, but you sing, Bill. You're supposed to be a music guy. Singing has nothing to do with music. Singing for me has to do with doing impressions of somebody else. Singing is more comedy for me. Uh, last week you talked about what kind of pizza you like. So what's your favorite movie snack? Licorice. I, I think... Licorice is better for a movie in that it's not crunchy and people can't in the theater can't hear you eating. Plus, y you can have a much smaller amount of it, and you'll finish the bet. I don't know. Like, I, I just think licorice is a better movie thing. That and a nice ginger beer would be good, but you never get that at a theater. Um. Purple People Eater, can you sing? I can, but I won't. Not now, anyways. I don't know the Monster Mash. If you want to hear me sing, you can come to Nerd Nights. Wednesday night, Arcadia Westfield Mall, Dave & Buster's. I'll be there hosting karaoke. Um, the most underrated Halloween song is It's Almost Halloween by Panic at the Disco. I don't think I've ever heard it. Izzy, well, congratulations on your Loki costume arriving. Uh, how do you feel about the Conjurings? They don't scare me as cheesy as they are. They're scary. I love The Conjuring so much, and they're my favorite horror movies. Yeah, I've never seen any of them. I don't, I don't have any opinion. Um, have you watched any of the Sleepaway Camp movies? I have not. Karaoke, more like Karaoke. Yeah. loki -oki? What do you feel about blood and gore movies? I'm not big into them, to be honest. Like, like RoboCop is fine in that like people get their dicks blown off and stuff but you know I don't watch a movie just because of blood and guts <sighs> bye Jacqueline uh, Bill please help me find this darn book I don't know what you're talking about my favorite movie for Halloween as a kid was The Worst Witch I don't think I've ever seen that one either uh, I have an essay to write APA format I've never done that before <laughs> Selena you'll be fine it's a format it's not a you know it's not a thing that you have to uh, use any thought for. So, guys, um, Jada, no, Shara, you're fine. Have you ever seen Have you ever seen the Saw movies? I think I saw one part of one. I didn't like it. It seemed like a lot of pain. Um, who would be on my zombie apocalypse team? Uh, mostly engineers, I think. It would probably be. I don't know, like, uh, Nick Offerman, Bob Vila, uh, maybe the winner of this season of Forged in Fire, something along those lines, but, you know, people who can build things more than people who are, like, good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, because, like, I'd rather have a secure fortress than just a bunch of really violent dudes around, um, Nerd Nights, but I can't. You should watch them. They're really good. Uh, have you seen the movies? Do you like them? Would you be... Uh, put that... Hey, uh, that. Change APA. Did you ever have a favorite childhood show, like Mickey Mouse? I think... Spawn the Animated Series might have been one of my favorites. Um, what did you get across a gold dog with a telephone? A re Labrador receiver. Got it. Um, Selena, anything but yogurt because, uh, I so hate this book. Well, guys, okay, it's now about 4.30. I gotta wrap it up because I gotta go and pick up a bunch of people and bring them to a taping. So, guys, um, I hope that you have a great night, and I want you all to be safe on Halloween. Please don't endanger yourselves. Don't drink too much or whatever. Or spend any time in the wrong type of company. If someone's not friendly, you don't need to be near them. So, um, I will see you next Monday, maybe before. Um, 
And again, if you guys want to send some stuff in the mailbox, thank you to Izzy for sending stuff this time. Um, and, you know, we can open stuff up and it gives us something to talk about. Oh, everybody, have a good night. Eris, so rude. Uh, Ilism? Okay. So, I'm going to figure out what to do right now. There it is. Miss you. Love you. Bye. I want to go with Loki. And I want you.